Hey everybody, Scabber Gaming here and welcome back to Oxen Free. So in the last episode we spent the day at the beach with Michael. Um, and I'm intrigued to see where it goes from there, to be honest. Alex, are you alright? Okay, uh, are you, are you back? You've been acting super weird for like the last five minutes, do, do, do you know that? I mean, I let it go for the first two, but then it got stranger. Jonas, I just saw... I think I just saw my brother. Wait, what? Totally Where? did. Here? Is he... D did you see him somewhere here? I, I was... It was like those time loops we've been experiencing, right? Ooh, this was... We'll it's like we've been having ripples, and this was a wave. I was bumped all the way back to when Michael was still alive. Just now? <laughs> I didn't know Maggie grew up in Maine. Ooh. Why would you know? Okay. Let's rock on. Now, honestly, I can't remember where I was supposed to be going. Um, it was Epiphany Fields. I had learned number step. Right, we've got leave. Stella boat and leave. Okay. So we've got the key now, so we should be able to make it back to the Adler Estate. Oh. I've already got that one. That's why it says what anomaly it is. That's cool. Let's get to the estate. Come on, Jonas. Get a hoof on. You didn't let the girl go first. <sighs> oh, good. You didn't die. Did you get it? Did it work? <laughs> Do you hate me because it didn't work? It worked. It worked. We got the... Well, actually, turned out to be a radio, but I guess it can open doors and gates and stuff with different frequencies. Really? But we can open the yes, gate? Sir. Yeah, we think. Ah, uh, good. Yeah, Clarissa's gone, though. Clarissa still hasn't turned up? No, she did, but I guess she got, like, this is gonna sound insane, but whatever, possessed and got time looped away. Oh, so there's that. What? Where is she? Look, we got the way in. Let's just <laughs> do what we meant to do and check to see if the boat works. But not leave Good yet, idea. right? No. Listen, if we have the key, which is apparently this radio, then let's just go to the house and see. And if it looks like we can leave that way, then we'll go on a Clarissa hunt. <sighs> All right. I think you're supposed to use Makes the radio sense. to tune into the gate, right, Alex? That's the plan. So are you going to try the gate thing, or...? Let's have a look. If we're still going to go to the house, let's just do it. Try the radio, Alex. Yeah, we are trying the radio. Hang on. I was listening to music. Sometimes shit gets weird on this radio. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm gonna get anything. Oh, this. That was random. Went from familiar music to. Ooh. Oh, okay. That happened. Cool. Oh, wow. Cool. Neat. Wow. <sighs> All right. Please have a boat. Please have a boat. Please have a boat. Just think happy thoughts. Just think happy thoughts. Yeah, that'll, that'll help. <laughs> we'll get there eventually if we just think happy thoughts. Boop -boop -boop. No. You'll die. Jeez, Yay, that boat. house is huge. That lady really knew how to live. It's like the Chateau de... How did she get so rich if she was just like a communications person or whatever in the military? I think I said when we it's got here, point, her family like actually. owned part of the island or something. I think she just inherited a lot, honestly. Yeah, that's fair. That would make sense. Now, there's so many steps and shit. So am, am I supposed to go this way? Because it actually looks like it's really far away. I oh, know, I can go that way. But what's this door? Let's have a look at the door, because we might be able to get in the door. I want to have a look at the door. Door? Ooh, basement. Do I really want to go in the basement? A projector, a desk, and a reel. Let's have a look in the desk. Huh. Ren, you were right. There's like a ledger here. The Adler family does own the island. And here's a combination for a padlock to a chest is all it says. 29, 18, 54. 29, a chest? 18, Have you seen one yet? 54. <sighs> Negative, but... Maybe I just missed it. She made a lot of 
what should I call these slides? They're not videos. Um, silent memories? <laughs> Can we not just take it? No? There's something okay. in here. Just looks like Let's vacation try slides or something. No, it's gonna be creepy. I know it's gonna be creepy because the game is so creepy. Why? Oh, you can't actually use it. Uh, wait. There's gotta be something cool on the radio that does something in here. Usually you can tell by the glowing or something. Something that's messed up and weird and scary. It's not going anywhere, is it? Okay. Sure, or why not? Let's go. So at least we got the combination, which was something, something 54. <laughs> I can't remember what it was, who cares? Hopefully she'll remember. Because I'm no good at remembering. Oh. Oh, it's like a, it's like a boat that needs keys. There are no oars. And before we go crazy, it's not... It wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office, like with the radio? No, we checked everything. Huh. Well, uh... What's plan keys? They... they have to be in the house. For the movers or her family, you know? That's as good a guess as any. True story. Let's roll. It's a radio lock. The woman uh. sure did love her antiquated security. <laughs> Just looking for a little blue line. That's all we're looking for. Little blue line, go boop! <laughs> Aha! Yay! That is a nifty gizmo. It really is. I like it. I kind of want it for my house, but then anyone with a radio could get in, which would be really stupid. Finally, Carissa, oh, God, Jesus! You scared me. Thought you were like Maggie Adler's dead body or something. How would that make sense? How <laughs> do you get in here? The door was locked. Do you have like a radio? Window? No, I don't have a radio. The kitchen window was open. There kitchen window? See? Where? Okay, sure. Look, Clarissa's is here. So everyone's here now. We can just... Everyone's okay, all right? That's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, let's just find the keys to the boat, or a phone, or whatever, <laughs> like, and just find a way home. <laughs> whatever, I I'm promise. Out. We can all keep talking and or fighting at school on Monday. Yes. I don't care what she says, just everyone keep your eye on her. Yeah, I just might climb through the kitchen window again. Who knows? Okay, we get it. Haha, -ha, carry on. Everybody find something and hope that it helps. Haha, -ha, carry on. Right, can we not use phone? No, someone mentioned that outside and it's still, it's not really a thing. Ooh, what's that? What's that? What's that? Bookshelf. Man, she owned enough books. It's mostly math, I think. Ergodic thermodynamics. But she was a radio and thing. religion. Sheesh, okay. they're going. Okay, we get it. She liked the smell of paper. Fascinating insight. We'll all miss her dearly. Okay, why don't you get off your ass and help then? I am helping by keeping out of the way of more enterprising sorts like yourself. Ugh. Blah. Typewriter. Oh, it's, a, it's a draft of her letter that she left in the office. To, to whom, whom it should concern. concern. She left notes everywhere, she said. Hidden with secret signals. Do, 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 she do, was do, an do, odd do, one, do, I'll do, give do, her do. that. But, you know, cool in a way. Maybe she was up to something, you ever think of that? She's an I mean, evil cow. She's wrapped up in this thing somehow. Well, maybe, but Very also much. things don't have to make sense. Sometimes stuff just happens, and that's the end of it. I can't use anything until you guys stop talking, so... Pull string! Oh, that's an attic? Thought it was like a cat's toy or something. Attics are always a little haunted house spooky, right? I don't it's the tight the spaces, attic. the darkness, the spiders, the creaking, and... Well, I'm actually, that about covers it. All of the things. Um, ooh, chest! Ooh, you know what? This might be the, um, it's gonna the make chest me remember, that isn't takes it? that combination. I have no idea what it was. 29, 18, <laughs> ah, good girl. 54. I was never going to remember that. Let's it's be honest. a lot of radios no and idea. those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and like a map of the caverns. She's written here, tune into the source. What do you think that means? She couldn't have known about the ghosts, right? Tune into the source. It, it's probably something about the special radios, you know? Huh. 
Does that mean Is we this... have to go back there? Ah, the boat keys. Got them. Woot. Great. Perfecto. Hmm. All right, we got keys for the boat. Where? Jonas found them in a chest upstairs. So say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I was just saying it. It's not directed at you or anything. Okay. <laughs> Such ass hats to each other. Don't be dicks. <laughs> Let's go. I don't look like there's anything else that we can do in here. I thought it was supposed to be a big house. It's actually pretty small. It's got like four rooms and an attic. So I kind of want to do something with this this mirror, but you <laughs> don't at the same time. Oh man. Alex. I knew this was gonna happen. Oh Alex. Come down here, please. We have something we want to show you. Clarissa, what's going on? You're confused, aren't you? Well, you should be. How does it go? Things are different, except in a different way. <laughs> Just come downstairs so we can get started. Uh. <laughs> Let's have a look at Ren first. He could be dead. Are you dead, Ren? Come on, Ren. Sleep will do. You sleep? Now he's dead. Right. Let's have a look at Nona. Come on, Nona. You're not dead, are you? Nona, are you okay? Wait, wake up! Nope, they're all dead. There's loads of candles. Why would you need candles? Why is... Ah, there you are. Now we imagine you're a bit confused. But don't fret. This will be the final part of your training, Alex. All training is supervised by very skilled instructors. Stop. Training? Just stop whatever this is, can't you? Just, just fix my friends. Please. Just Your friends mind. are as fine as they've ever been, okay? There's nothing to bleed over. You signed up for this, Alexandra. Bleed. <laughs> so please, I cannot bear your excuses, offspring. How was I meant to know what the hell was gonna happen? And yet, without understanding your footing, you still acted. But don't worry. The test is easy. We will speak of something we see in the house. And you will go and find it. See? Oh. As simple and good humor as your mother's apple pie. What is it with you guys and all the the games? You're like dogs or children. Just what is the point? The point, Ghost dear. Dogs. The point is that they were never <laughs> games. And you can figure that out by your lonesome. Yeah, right. Now, let's start with a softball. I spy, with my little eye, radiation. There is, of course, a time limit here. So. Radiation? Ten. What? Nine. Eight. TV tube? Seven. Is it... are you talking about the TV? Very good. Well done. The older models have been the x-rays. That's why I said TV tube. Right. Now, you'd be wise to think of radiation. Sure, in other sense. Oh. Pay attention. What are you even talking about? I spy. With my radiation. I a notch. And a notch. Let's make a little harder, okay? Ah, uh, I'm upside down. Seven. Six. Not. Five, I was in C. Five, water. Three. Speed. Two. Uh. Uh, is it the, the this painting? It painting looks of a knot. Kind of like a knot. Excellent, excellent. excellent. For God's so sake, well. I fluked that one. It's time for the bonus round, <laughs> so stay quick. This is what you really want to find. I spy with my little eye. Picture of a, a memory. Picture of a memory. Be fast now. The, the picture of of. I guess it's Maggie, Adler, and somebody. Is this it? Yes, very nice. That's Margaret Adler and friend Anna. You see, you and your schoolyard chums are experiencing... Well, this has sort of happened before. Maggie and Anna tried to sport with us many years ago, and, well, only one survived. But in the process, we discovered a way for us to return, so to speak. It just takes a little time. And a far-reaching tolerance for the ignorance. Wait, what? Yeah. What happened to Anna? I don't want to die. Let's leave it at the poor girl didn't know what she was playing with. It doesn't matter. Do not have eternal recurrence. The waves. It's the waves, we think. And we will use those waves to absorb into your friends so as sunlight blooms into flowers. And we will grow. And we will engulf. Wait, what? What happens to them after you're... Absorbed. 
Their form will exist with us inside. It will be a swap. You see, if essences, I guess you could call them. No, that's mean. We tried it too quickly with Anna, but now we know to wait and soak. We had to keep you here on the island. It will be a great honor, Alex, really, to carry happen. us through this life. And on to the next. Please just don't do this. We're... We're not it's sad, I know, to lose the facility to feel, to be, but we have not felt anything for a very long time, and we'll do whatever is necessary. Well, that's just me. As a patch on the rocks, we have control tongue, and so are you. We would spend our time wisely, and we thank you for your good service. You assholes. <sighs> so. I'm kind of screwed. Man, these guys are such dicks. <laughs> That's pretty much the long and the short of it. They're dicks. Ooh, tape player. No, wait. It's not a radio thing. How fast do I need to go? Did it work? <laughs> I guess do this one as well. How fast? Oh, too fast. There we go. Crazy music. Okay, there's another one down here, so I'm gonna go in there. Ah, oh, it's my bro again. Hey, bro. What's up? Just don't try and influence Michael. He can live his own life. Totally. What does this... What does this matter? He's dead. He's not... He's not here. <sighs> Come on, bro. It doesn't matter. <laughs> right. I didn't bring me out quite so much because I kind of knew what was going on this time. So we can go on. <laughs> I, I think I'm going to be sick. Me first. Uh, it wasn't a dream or a vision or something. You and Clarissa standing in the living room just now, was it? Ugh. Clarissa? Uh, no, but I wish it was a dream. Usually there's a lot more talking horses. We're in, like, trouble. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. God. Yeah, we kind of really are. So, I mean, Christ, if Clarissa was whisked away to the cave by nuclear submarine monsters, then... <laughs> I mean, the plan has to be to retrieve Sounds her, right? Sounds awesome. I'm still going to call them ghosts, if that's okay. Yeah, and you can some monsters. A ghost is a monster, so... Clarissa is only, like, one slice of the problem. We're all infected, or whatever, so we need to rip the issue off like a bandage all at once. Okay, great, yeah. But how do we do that? Well, uh... Good question. We could... I mean, using the radio to tune into that triangle thing in the cave started it, so... I don't know, maybe tuning it differently or something will fix it? Yeah, or if your car is on fire, you can just pour gasoline on it, right? Well, maybe she has a point. Why do the one thing that we know got us all flummoxed again? It's all I can think well, of at the moment. Fucked anyway, right. aren't you? <laughs> maybe it, I don't know, maybe it works like a door, and we can somehow figure out how to, you know, close it. Good yeah, grief. Look, if Clarissa's it. in the cave, then we'll have to go there anyway, so we'll put a, a, a pin in it. Well, if we're going to the cave... Oh, actually, I forgot. I saw the entrance has been caved in since you guys went inside. All right, I know there are a whole bunch of secret communist bomb-fearing tunnels dug into this place during the 1950s. And Maggie has loads of film about military stuff in her basement, so... Maybe there's a way back into the cave through one of those, you're thinking? <sighs> Let's well, take back a look. There. What kind of name is a Fippany Fields, anyway? Wait, hmm. is it a Fippany? It's... It's Epiphany. Uh, it's Epiphany Field. Oh, that makes more sense. <laughs> for, for a second, I'd been saying it all wrong. <laughs> Epiphany Fields, young lady. Epiphany Fields. Right. Let's watch some movies. That'd be great. That'd be great. Do I want the projector or do I want the real? Do I want the real? Alright, there's already something in here. Experiments and findings of experienced phenomena, January 52. Oh, awesome. yeah. Oh, man. If this turns out to be just prehistoric home videos, yeah. I'm sure this is just God, the... it's just the first thing. Just give it a second to warm up, will you? <laughs> okay, we're getting warmer, I think. 
So if you look at the like lines like or whatever, bunker. the bomb shelter should lead right into the cave, just like from another angle. According to this, at least. Oh, so it does. But won't it be like locked or something? It was right? locked. Yeah, but I've, I've got, got the radio it. thing to open. It's just now. like the cave wall, only steel or whatever bomb shelters are made out of. Oh, what? She knew about these things? Wow, that's crazy. It says that to fix a temporal tear, that's temporal. a mouthful, in the cave, we would need to transpose to the other side and tune into the source within itself. Okay, but we're not doing that, right? Good question. Yeah, that's that's going a little above. Above and beyond. Well, how would she even know this? I don't care how much research she did, this would be out of anyone's realm of expertise. Well, that's something true. better work, or, or we're boned. Or boned. we're boned. Precisely. Precisely. Yeah. Totally. Oh, totally sorry. Boned. This is like this looks like the end, but from the from the wrong film thing. No, no, no. Wait. This is something I actually remember from that stupid radio tour thing because it like sounded so weird. It's called the call and response system. It unlocks the bomb shelter. This is showing us how to do it. See, it says when someone sends an emergency signal from the Capard station in the woods, and the receiving station confirms it. It's like a connected response thing. Brilliant! Really? It's good enough for me. Alex and me will head through the woods, do the, um, call part. You and Ren can hang by the door to the bomb shelter and open it when it's ready. Uh, actually, I've been with Jonas kind of all night, so if anyone wants to switch up the batting order, I wouldn't exactly be... Yeah, obviously Alex is getting, or has been, sick of me for a while now, so for civility's sake... <laughs> Don't be like that, Jonas. Come on. <sighs> I'm just... Ooh. I don't... If you really want to split up, it's fine. I mean, we can... No, no, this is fine. I mean, why mess with success, right? True story. Right, where are we going? Use the response station to open the bomb shelter. So response station we are then. So I need to go through up past Epiphany Field to, to Wee Woods. <laughs> to bridge stand up the thingy and up the thingy thingy. Flipping out. It's a long way to go. All right break and if anything goes wrong please don't tell me I won't want to know <laughs> well now I'm gonna run over there and specifically tell you at the first drop of bad news no <laughs> true story I would do that totally totally Okay, guys, it's going to be a long walk, so I'm going to leave it there for this episode. If you like this, please click like and subscribe, and I will be back with more Oxen Free in a couple of days. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.